Everyone, hello doctors. Good evening. I am Dr. Saurabh Dixit, consultant laparoscopic and robotic surgeon from New Delhi. So today we are here to discuss something about the FMG. So today the FMG results have been declared and many of our students have passed and they have come out victorious. But this video is intended for the students who couldn't make it. Students, let me tell you, it's just one exam. If you are not able to pass through this exam, if you're not successful, that doesn't mean that you have lost anything. Rather, you should accept it as a challenge. You should take it as an ego and start working hard again. Don't feel depressed. Don't feel low. There will be many such hurdles in your life. This is just an exam. If you couldn't do this time well, you can again approach the December exam. So one motive of making this video is to share the peace of burden that you are having. So one very important thing that I will request to you is that start fresh, start early. Don't waste time thinking about what happened, how it happened and what you will do, what not will be do. But one thing that you have to understand, that you have to start. You cannot blame anyone. It is you who can correct it. It is you who can be on the other side of the horizon. So one very basic thing that you have to understand that the concepts are very important in getting successful. Now, I have seen a lot of institutions of FMG particularly. They are talking about a basic thing that uh, the FMG level is different, the NEED PG level is different. Let me tell you, if you see the last three years, four years paper, the NEED PG and the FMG level exams, they are almost same. Now, why this kind of segregation has been made? Students, these small petty institutes, I will not take the name but you people will be knowing, they are run by a handful of MBBS doctors. They don't even have a qualification to teach a specialist subject like surgery, medicine and they are teaching almost five subjects, same subjects. Now, I am a surgeon who has been operating for a long time and I have an experience of operating more than 20,000 cases and have been teaching for last decade or more. I cannot confidently say that I know my 100% of subject. So, which is, what is the problem here? The problem is the wrong concept building that is going in this market right now. People are studying, they are mugging up. I have seen a lot of chanting sessions going on and you people are mugging up. You people are going in a wrong direction and that is actually misleading you. And take my words, years will pass, you will never be successful. Study the concept once and they will be sufficient for your FMG also, for your NEET also and for INICT also because concepts are not going to change. So one very important message to all of you is that say no to all these institutions which are run by a handful of people who are actually not even qualified to teach. This is your own time, this is your own career. Plan it wisely, plan it carefully because your time is more important than anything. These people will keep on fooling you by saying this is FMG level, this is NEED PG level. Go and don't go to the better institutions. Don't go to these institutions. We will make you uh, mug up with those mnemonics etc. This is not going to work. If you see the results, only the students who are conceptually sound were able to clear. And take my words, you keep on mugging, you keep on making mnemonics and mnemonics and their super mnemonics, you keep on attending all those idiotic chanting sessions and all those idiotic, uh, con uh, you can say conceptless lectures, you will not be able to succeed in any way. So a sincere message from Team Games that please start learning conceptually, learn early and don't feel depressed. If you have not been able to be successful, Global Academy of Medical Education is always there with you. I am there with you. You can personally reach to me. You can come to me for the mentorship session and I will be more than overwhelmed to guide you. Ultimately, I am your senior and I have taken that, you can say, fact to help you out in your journey for preparation. So my sincere attempt, my sincere words should be that plan it once. Prepare for FMG also with that attempt and that attempt should be sufficient to make you suffice for the need PG and INICT. So again, once again, the students who have cracked FMG, congratulations, but don't lose the rhythm and the tempo. Continue this pace and plan for INICT and NEET PG and come out victorious. So I, from Global Academy of Medical Education, is just going to give you this message that feel confident, feel, you can say, conceptualize in your preparation and you will be successful.